how you doing YouTube and hello I Halo Zone and thank you guys for having me on here once again my name is Severed Void and today I've got an interesting 39 and 0 perfection on Dominion playing with modest major as well as some other people playing with some of the worst kids I've ever played in my life these kids were absolute garbage as, as you guys know because uh, on good kids you cannot drop a 39 and 0 um, but I do get some pretty cool plays in here a really nice overkill towards the middle so stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks to Modest Major for playing with me a lot recently. Uh, it's been really fun, and um, sorry to get the unforgivable. I was extremely pissed when we finished this, but you know, you can't have everything. So I welcome you guys back for the second episode of This Is Halo. Um, thank you guys for so many comments on the last one. It was absolutely insane. It was so cool to see you guys loving that video so much, giving so many comments. I was absolutely blown away, and I read every single one of them, even if I didn't respond to you. Um, I read every single one of the comments, and uh, it, I was just blown away by the number of people that enjoyed that video, and I want to thank you guys all so much for the support. It was absolutely insane, and um, I'm so excited to be back for the second episode. Over have a, after looking over those comments, I've decided to change something up a little bit about This Is Halo. At the end of the episode, I will be giving you a topic uh, for the next time, just a very brief one or two uh, word phrase. Um, to kind of base your comments around because I was getting a very large diversity and remember when leaving a comment um, The most specific and unusual comment will usually get picked so uh, don't leave me really broad topics The more specific the better and the more unusual um, I did get a few comments asking me on weapon balancing and stuff like that And although I do love to talk about that stuff uh, a lot of people have and I want to be unique here So I'm not going to particularly talk about that um, But don't feel discouraged about that uh, Because you know uh, I did like all the comments, and I thought they were interesting, and they gave me a lot of thought. So I want to thank you guys all, but um, I did find one comment that I did, comment that I did like a lot, and I thought it would make good for a first episode or first real episode. So um, he did fail a couple times to write the comment. I guess he was having issues with his computer, or his phone, or whatever he was typing it on. But uh, the comment comes from us. Uh, seen on the screen now. It comes from Autobot three one nine. Hit the comment. He'd left several earlier, but it was sorry. This thing won't work. Do you think Sirius MLG will be back anytime soon? Finally. So yeah, he had a few issues right typing that comment. But first I'm going to give you guys some background information. And then we're going to go ahead and get into this. And talk about uh, what I think about MLG and Halo. You know, that, that stuff. Um, so uh, MLG dropped Halo Halo 4. Or MLG dropped Halo Reach uh, late into the cycle. Because Halo Reach was not dropping good numbers. It wasn't a very popular game. And so MLG dropped Halo late in the season. Or late into the game. Uh, after about midway through, uh, when it wasn't being very popular, and then um, they reaccepted Halo 4, and MLG was back, and everyone was super excited to have MLG back and back in Halo. Um, but uh, as after Halo launched, um, everyone realized that Halo uh, 343 had made a contract with a company called Virgin Gaming, um, which is another uh, kind of kind of thing like MLG. Uh, they hold tournaments. They're famous for some big Battlefield 3 tournament. But um, they made a contract with Virgin Gaming, which made them unable to have a contract with MLG, as well as Halo 4 was not dropping very good numbers a uh, couple m month or two after its release. And multiple factors like that, uh, the Halo was not dropping the numbers MLG needed, uh, and it was also having a contract, contract with Virgin Gaming, um, meant that MLG had to drop Halo. It was not beneficial in terms of MLG, which I totally understand. Uh, if the com if something for you wasn't making money, you wouldn't do it. And so that's what uh, MLG would did with Halo. They dropped it after it wasn't dropping the numbers required. And that's sort of what caused MLG and Halo to be at the point we are today. Now, what you ask in this comment is, um, do you think Cirrus MLG will be back? And my answer to that um, is kind of a, a roundabout way of saying something. Um, MLG has been part of competitive gaming for a very long time. They hold the COD championships, which were extremely high amounts of money for that championship. A very, very large numbers dropped. There were almost always 60,000 or more people watching that uh, just on Twitch. I don't know where else. Maybe I, that's where I watched part of it. So um, that event was very large. MLG is a very, very large gaming company as far as most of them go. But um, there are many others. Uh, if you guys are familiar with um, EGL, AGL, and UMG, and Virgin Gaming, um, all of them other companies that aren't as big as MLG, but still are uh, companies, and all of them in, uh, affiliated with Halo in different ways, mostly AGL on UMG, uh, both of them holding tournaments, um, and AGL tournament actually going on right now, uh, or at least this weekend, several MLG tournaments, very, very, in or AGL tournaments, sorry, not MLG, AGL tournaments, very, very interesting tournaments to watch, and, um, 
the thing with MLG is, although they're very big and, you know, Halo would drop more numbers uh, if it was using AG, or MLG and maybe drop more views and maybe get more people to play the game, um, I'm not sure it's in the best interest of the Halo community to have MLG back. Um, AGL is doing a very, very good job with Halo, a very, very strong job, very holding uh, a lot of the community events. Um, Version Gaming did not hold up to them. They have yet to hold a tournament months and months after Halo's release. They did not hold up to their contract, and they kicked a lot of people off Halo with those like three-week-long tournament things that you just had to play a ton for. But MLG, I mean AGL, has been very, very faithful at Halo, a very, very good friend in our our time of kind of, uh, not disgrace, but our, t our time of decline uh, during these last few months um, where we've, we haven't been dropping the numbers necessary and all that stuff. And although, although Halo may never appear on you know ESPN again like it used to in the Halo Three days where it was just insanely popular, um, I'm not sure it needs MLG for that because AGL is growing very much larger uh, than it used to be. It's turning more into an MLG sort of thing, becoming a very popular company, and they're very very nice to the Halo community. They've done a lot in the way of helping us there, and um, they're very very helpful to the community. And I think that's going to be very very important in the future, as well as UMG holding another tournament. Um, they're going to be holding a Halo tournament. I'm not sure exactly when. Uh, I just know they are holding one. And so, in in kind of a roundabout way to answer your question, I don't think MLG would be back necessarily, but in a way, I don't think it's necessary. I think Halo has become one of, the, one of the very few games that has been able to move away from MLG moderately successfully that... Um, although we've moved away from MLG, we have become um, kind of a more independent game in that way. And here's the overkill I was talking about earlier uh, with the rockets and then snipe. But um, I think Halo has become more of an independent game by kind of leaving MLG. And I think that in the long run, I think this will benefit us. We've become bigger friends and more possibly dependent, I guess is the word you could use there, on other companies, but then again, in a way, becoming more independent because we've become dependent on so many companies instead of just, you know, MLG like maybe COD has. And I think AGL is doing a very, very good job in becoming more popular as a company. And I think that um, Halo, Halo will become, sorry, will be able to benefit more from these things that than it used to in the past. And um, I think maybe... Maybe with Halo 5, um, I know Halo 4 is becoming much, much a better game. I'm not sure it's becoming more popular necessarily, but I think it's a much better game at this point. That I think that maybe, although um, MLG isn't isn't coming back for Halo, honestly, I don't think they want us back. I think Halo, uh, I think COD is the game that they really, the, it, that's the mass game, and that's the that's what MLG is. It's kind of a mass game thing. And I think that's what um, MLG will probably stick to in the future, as well as you know StarCraft and League of Legends. But I think that AGL and UMG and those tournaments will serve us very, very well. And I think that Halo 4 is not really at a loss for these things, that uh, Halo 4 will continue to go on, and Halo will continue to live on uh, as far as the MLG scene goes. And I don't think it will ever become kind of a, a dead game like some people think it is because MLG dropped him. Um, Honestly, it hasn't affected the tournaments. Uh, AGL has been holding a ton of tournaments. They hold AGL Knoxville, AGL Pittsburgh, um, all kinds of all kinds of tournaments. That um, although they're not like huge tournaments, like maybe some of the MLG ones, it's not the COD Championships or anything like that. Uh, shout out Team Killer right there. Um, it's not some of the COD Championships, but they're still extremely popular. And very very fun to watch. Uh, comparatively, I just think COD's not the not the spectator game that Halo is. And I think that MLG is at a loss, although they don't really think so, because Halo's not in its prime anymore. Uh, it's not where it used to be. But I think Halo has definitely become the more independent game here. And it will definitely serve Halo in the long run to, um, to stay away from MLG. Maybe not entirely. Of course, we weren't relations with them. But I still think that Halo is becoming um, the independent game that we've all hoped it would be. Uh, maybe one way or another, although we've lost some numbers. You know, uh, Halo 4 is, is moving in the right direction, I believe. But um, that's basically my two cents on that. So uh, just overall, you know, uh, MLG's probably not coming back, dude. Um, as much as I wish it would, uh, as much as I wish, you know, I mean, we were dropping the same numbers the COD Championship was. Uh, it's it's not going to happen at this point. Uh, not to say it won't. Um, maybe they will. Uh, but just as far as now, 
they may come back with Halo 5, but as far as now, I think uh, Halo is not is not going to be rely on MLG at, at the moment. But um, that's my two cents on that. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And um, for next week's topic, uh, we are going to kind of limit ourselves a little bit, a little bit more than usual. But um, I want to talk about. Uh, so my phrase for my phrase for next week, uh, comments based on this will be given higher priority. So make sure your comments are based on this and get them as specific as possible. More specific, the better. Like this comment uh, and uh, not common. Unique is best. Unique is best. Um, but the topic for next week is a uh, story. So whatever the most com most unique story, most unique comment for story you can think of, uh, please leave it in the comments. I want to thank you guys for watching. And hope you enjoyed. Please leave those comments. Let support like last time. Leave support for all the guys on here. Uh, go check out Modest Major. Great guy. Great commentator. And peace.